Hey, this is Sujin from Sujin's Corner. I've been getting a ton of requests about the European washer and dryer. We're gonna start now with the washer. You can go online and print in English a manual for yourself so that way you can understand more about your washer. If you don't know the make of your washing machine, you can look on the side. It's normally right here on the side of the door, and this would be the number. It will ask for the ERN number and then the number at the end, because this would be like pretty much like series eight. And if I'm explaining this wrong, in no way am I, <laughs> I'm not a maintenance man at all. This you wanna do every couple of months or so. Um, if you just got here and you got a new washer and it smells, something you wanna do. Now we do this pretty regularly. We're gonna pull this part out and you can see all this water. You can see all the sediment in here. Look at all that. Are you able to see all the little bits in there? Now when you have this, that is the lime that I'm talking about, okay? You want to drain that. Let it all get good and drained. You can see I don't have any sediment on here. Tap, tap, tap. Alrighty, now we're going to very carefully pull this out right here. This you want to clean every couple of weeks depending on how much you do for the wash. And you can see even with ours that I clean regularly, you can see the sediment here. You can see it the whole way around. This you want to clean and a little bit you want to wipe out inside here and that's where I have the bottle brush where I'm going to clean out inside there. Piece here, I'm putting it just water with a little bit of dish soap. You don't have to do anything. I'm using an old toothbrush. It was cleaned by the way. It's not like, you know, I went from my mouth straight in. And if you're able, are you able to get in there and see the sediment right here? This is all lime. This is not good to have. It can destroy your washing machine. Now, because I'm seeing a lime buildup, I'm gonna clean, clean this out again, probably today or tomorrow, um, after I do my little tablet wash, because I wanna make sure that all the lime's out of there we have this all clean now. I'm gonna take my little bottle brush and just kinda work around in here, get any little stuff. Nothing major's coming out. Some people might, but we don't have anything major coming out. This is all clean. We're gonna put it and twist it back in. We're gonna put our little tube back there. And we're gonna put our piece back on. Whoa, it's making sure it's all on there, right? There we go. To get rid of the lime and sediment that gets on the piece that goes in your washer, you take one of these little tabs, yeah, if I can open it, you just put it in, and we're going to turn it on to a small wash, I don't need a long time on it, and press start. You'll hear it start, and you'll hear the piece get dropped in there. See, goes right in, went down, and it will wash through. Like my Facebook page, I'm gonna be doing some giveaways. For here in the local community by me, I'm gonna give a box of the tablets away. The water softener, you can get different test kits to see 
how often you need to use the uh, Calgon cleaning stuff. There's different products, but to get all the sediment you can see in the picture here off of the washer tub itself, the heating element, and the hose. You wash it through. This is when it looks really bad, and then clean. You may have to go through a few times, depending on how often the people before you actually delimed their washer. I will be giving a box or two away. We're going to get everything going, and I will be posting that on my Facebook page. I hope you enjoyed this Spouse Information Center moment with washers. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. I will also be leaving comments down below. Um, on the side will be some other videos for you. We have the dryer coming up. Look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. Thanks. Why do I get ready to go? Okay. Hi, from inside the wash. Where the hell did I come from? Hang on.